I can't believe it. I can't eat you no more. You're, you're destroying me, okay? You're destroying me. What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Rod El Kaki. Welcome back to the channel. Yo, I'm feeling good right now, man. I'm feeling so good. I feel like this video is going to relieve a lot, man. And I feel like it can probably inspire you for those that are working on their mind, their body. I want to keep pouring out so much positivity out there. And I want people to know that you can overcome anything that you're going through. Let's go ahead and uh, let's get the jokes out the way, man. Okay, so yeah, I blew up. We ain't talking like no YouTube blew up. Huh? I was out there looking like Mrs. Puff from Spongebob. So, man, that, that pandemic really put a, a change on me, man. I ain't gonna lie. I was eating. Who don't love food? We all love food. If you don't love food, there's something wrong with you. Yeah, let's go ahead and get into this, man. So, before the pandemic had started, my body was regular. Now, wasn't like I was really, you know, working out. I had kind of started to work out uh, because my friend David, he mentioned about going to the gym. So, I was like, all right, man, you know, cool. Yeah, I'll go ahead and start getting in the gym. Because I already pretty much had started, like, doing a little bit of workout at home. But it wasn't nothing really major or serious. It was just a little bit, just to kind of, like, work on my body just a little bit. But it wasn't as much as you can say, like, I was fully active. So, I started going to the gym. I had pretty much already had started cutting off, uh, eat food late at night. Then the pandemic hit. That was when they started shutting everything down. Now, I'm pretty sure y'all remember that. Like, really couldn't go anywhere. And then it was like a certain time limit on it. And then, you know, as far as going to the gym, you couldn't even go to the gym. It took a minute for the gym to open back up. You know, they started opening everything else back up slowly, like stores and whatnot, stuff like that. But yeah, the gyms were kind of like still on hold. But I remember seeing people in there working. So I was like, yeah, they finna eventually open the gyms back up. By that time, man, it, you know, I didn't, I done got in a relationship. <laughs> man, let me tell you, man, you really wanna surround yourself around people that are on the same page as you, or at least you're trying to be on the same page as them. So whatever you got going on in your life, if if it's working on your dreams, your goals, or if you're trying to like start your own business or make money, or if you wanna be healthy and you wanna lose weight and you wanna you know build your body, tone it up, you need to surround yourself around people like that. If there's no people like that, then yo, you gotta separate yourself from people that's not on the same thing as you are. Because I'm telling you now, that's how they pull you in. They start bringing you down. You trying to move up that ladder, man. And they just bring you back down to where they at. And that's pretty much what happened when I got in a relationship because I let my ex move in. That was, yo, I, worst mistake. Now, like I said, this, this video is not to like bash or anything, but the worst mistake we started having a lot of problems. Boom, I hit depression. Now everybody knows depression can go two ways when it comes to food. You can either not wanna eat or you gonna eat. Because food sometimes becomes our thing where that's our way of coping with how we're feeling. I was lost, I was confused, I'm not gonna lie. Food was making me happy. It was like to take that anger away to take the depression away, the sadness, I was gumping down food. At the same time, yeah, I loved the way it was tasting, but it was not good for my body at all. Now, maybe if I was gumping down like, you know, the healthy foods, and it probably would have been different, you know what I'm saying? But I was eating a lot of toxic food. I'm not putting the blame on her to say it was her fault, but I did allow it to affect me to where Bro, I started going back to just eating late at night. I started just, you know, shoving them cookies down, man. Uh, just eating a lot of foods with high calories, man. It got to the point where, man, we was ordering out from like DoorDash, Grubhub, Postmates, man, you name it. We was getting McDonald's. Well, not me, cause I'm, you know, vegan. But I was, I was, I was getting that burger from. That, bur that vegan burger from Burger King, I ain't gonna lie, I was chopping it down, Red Robin, high calorie foods, man, processed foods, ordering a pizza, Chinese food, getting the vegan wings. I wasn't realizing like, man, yo, 
we eating out a lot. Now what even makes it even worse? We went grocery shopping. But guess what? Getting mad processed food. It was like, yo, what am I doing? It's good to eat every once in a while, but you don't want to eat it like that. I was really slacking on my vegetables. I'm not going to lie. Now I love vegetables, but was I really cooking vegetables like that during the pandemic? Hell no. <laughs> I ain't going to lie. I was not cooking it like that. Like, nah. And then finally, call to quits. You know, it was a lot that happened in between that relationship but I'm gonna just skip past that part and it was time for me to get back to myself. I had to refine who I was. I had to go back to being me, missing being in so love with myself. I had to go back in and, and find that person. And that's when it came down to like, yo, it's time to get rid of this weight, it's time to unload depression, the sadness, um, everything that took place, it was like, yo, I'm, I'm ready to go. It was like a closet, like I'm ready to just clean it out. I'm ready to continue enjoying my life. So basically what I did was I said, I'm gonna do this intermittent fasting. Did some research on it and I watched a couple of videos that explained it very well and I was like, man, this is incredible. I've always heard of fasting, but I never really took time to actually sit down and actually analyze and study and see what's so great about it. So I would eat at 12 p.m and stop at 8 p.m. And anything outside them hours, it was only water. For breakfast, I would eat like oatmeal, around like, you know, for like a snack, maybe around like two or three o'clock, it would be like fruits. And then for dinner, I would just pretty much just eat vegetables. I threw a lot of food out, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. <laughs> I threw out a lot of food, like, man. I just, I said, yo, this this is not the way. I got rid of it, I just threw it out. I had literally three bags of trash. Like, yo, literally with food. You know, and I had nobody to give it to. So I did that for about basically one month and a half. What killed a lot of time while I was, when I first started doing the intermittent fasting, what killed a lot of time was like, at that time I started door dashing. I would usually, my cutoff time would be around like, maybe around like five or six, even though I had until eight o'clock. But I would go door dash and that would kill a lot of time. By the time I get done door dashing, I wasn't really like sleep or anything, but I'd be tired. So, you know, I'll probably just kick it, watch some TV and then just go to sleep. So I would repeat that whole process and it helped out a lot, you know, because as time steady moving, boom, you go to sleep. It's the next day you get up and go ahead and take care of what you need to take care of, boom and you go back to the 12, eight again, and you just keep knocking it out, and it's so smooth. After I finished my intermittent fasting, I had started going out, eating every once once in a blue moon. It wasn't like, like how I was before when that pandemic came now. It was, you know, it was definitely not that. I was still feeling like, yo, I'm not where I wanna be yet. I was like, okay, well, let me go ahead and, and, and step it up more. I said, okay, and now I'm about to cut out juice. I was like, I don't wanna be drinking juice. I'm gonna up my, my water. Now, we about to get into this water conversation. I had to up my water. Drinking stuff like this, this ain't worth it. This is trash, this is garbage. Get, get that out of here. Now, it's pretty much almost empty. Well, it's, it's, it's really empty, pretty much. This is like saliva at the bottom, you know what I'm saying? But it's still water. But y'all know how, you know, if you know, you know, then you know what I'm talking about. So I drink like alkaline water. I don't know if y'all can, y'all can somewhat see that. Camera kind of like bright. I was like, yo, I'm just gonna drink strictly alkaline water. I'm not really hip to the whole tea thing, but a friend of mine's David he recommends it. I'm gonna try it eventually. Hey, make sure y'all buy the stocks. Load up, baby. If you are in the stocks, make sure you load up is what I'm saying. Like, get you some shares. Agalon going, you know, this chain is going to be big. You know, Shaq already representing this, and they already going crazy inside Walmart, Sprouts. Um, I think it's Whole Foods. I don't know if Whole Foods sell these. I think they do. Yeah, 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 they, they, they do. They do, never mind. They, they, they do. They do. What am I talking about? But anyways, so by that time the summer came, boom. I said, I'm about to start really, really exercising. I'm about to really take this serious. So I brought the dumbbells. Um, I started doing a lot of cardio. I pretty much was like watching a lot of people on YouTube. I didn't want to go to the gym. I was like, because, you know, with the whole, I don't want to say the stuff on here, but the C and the D going on. And you know, you gotta get the V and all that type of stuff. I was like, you know what? I'd rather just be at home in my comfort zone and I can go ahead and get my work in 
and be done and move on to the next thing. So now at this point, I'm like, yo, I'm working out. I'm drinking a lot of water, still eating healthy. I had cut off, you know, eating, going out and stuff like that. Then with that, as time started going by, I started noticing the change. I'm losing a lot of weight. My body is sweating a lot. I'm starting to look good. Like I'm literally checking in the mirror. It was like I was just visualizing it myself. I would look in the mirror, which is behind that door, but I would look in the mirror and I was just like, yo, I can't wait to see the results. Just getting up every single day, just doing it, just doing it, doing it. If I skip a day, next day I'm on it. Then I said, you know what? I said, man, I said, what's another good way to really knock off some fat and burn some calories? Run it. Run 30 minutes straight without stopping. But you know, like at a pace though. I ain't gonna lie, man. I said, wow. I said, yo, I just really just basically just ran for 30 minutes straight and I still feel good. It was a great feeling. So I told myself, I said, you know what? I'm gonna start trying to get as many runs in that I can get in out of the week, which is usually about three or four. And I didn't want to like kind of like overdo myself because I'm also doing, you know, cardio at home with the dumbbells, I'm doing squats, I'm doing push-ups, sit-ups, I'm working on abs, shoulders, working on my legs. I'm not gonna lie, y'all, I added ice cream to my diet, help with my, my soreness, which it does help. Ice cream is actually good for you if you're working out. But I kinda choked on the whole milk thing. I'm not gonna lie, man, I be feeling like milk gives me boobs, I don't like that. I've cut milk out of my diet, I don't, I don't, I don't like that. You know, for to each his own that does get it, hey, I'm not judging. But yeah, so, now I got this whole process where I, I can get up, I can go work out, I can go get my run in, and then boom, carry on for the rest of the day and enjoy myself. So recently, I started this fruit and vegetable fasting to where that's all I eat, just fruits and vegetables and drink water. Literally, that is it, just fruits and vegetables. When I first started, it was fine. It was really, really fine. It was like, oh, I can do this. I can probably do this for the rest of my life. But I'm not gonna lie, like probably around like maybe the 10th day or the 11th, it started kicking in. It was like, yo, like, bro, like I'm definitely losing a lot of weight. I'm, I'm building muscle, um, my, my asthma, my pack is coming in. But it was also to a point where it was like, yo, like my body is starting to transition and it's going, you know, like when people do the water fasting, and they start the, you know, their body starts to ache a little bit and you might have a little little headache. It started to get to that point. I feel like the internet be trying to like play me, man, because I started seeing foods pop up. Um, but everything worked out perfectly fine. I'm definitely gonna be trying that again. I'm just trying to work my way up to water fasting. Cause I feel like I'm not ready for that yet. But when I do get there, I will be ready. Cause I don't like to start something then I then I stop. Like if I do it, I gotta stick to it. And, and grind it out as long as I can. So the other day I broke my fast. I basically went to Blaze Pizza. That was part of my celebration to say, hey, I made it this far. You know, I made it this far and I celebrated myself with Blaze Pizza. It was a vegan Blaze Pizza, basically uh, with a bunch of uh, vegetable toppings on it, uh, vegan cheese and high rise uh, dough, which is vegan made as well. So, which I did enjoy. And guess what? I ate it. Felt so good, but here's the problem though. I ate it, I ate like two slices and was full. I felt like I ate the whole box, I'm not gonna lie. Off of two slices, that's crazy, right? That just goes to show like how small your appetite has gotten because of what you, you spend days eating that your window was closing. The old version of me would've ate that whole box. Cause that's how I was during the pandemic. If you bought me a pizza, I'm eating that whole box by myself. I ain't, I ain't talking about sharing it with somebody we need to get. I'm talking about by myself. Like I said, man, it feels good. It feels great. I feel like I'm sitting here sweating because it's, it's kind of like getting hot up in here. Yeah, I'm going ahead and wrap this video up, man. I appreciate y'all watching. It just goes to show that, man, um, if you want to get something done, you, you got to really go for it. And you got to get rid of the people around you that's not going to make it happen for you. You know, whole time I was in that relationship, I was eating unhealthy, you know what I'm saying? I was on track before that relationship. I take full responsibility, you know? I take full responsibility, like, I'm not afraid to, or scared, or don't wanna admit, like, I know it was mostly my fault, because if you got something in, in, that you wanna do, 
do it regardless of who comes in the way. Regardless of who comes in the way. Because ain't nobody going to stop what you want. So it was really my fault. But I'm back on track now and I'm working to be better and to keep learning more. Like right now, just today, I just learned a bunch of new stuff. And that's another thing, man. Um, me and my friend David, yo, we travel all the way out there to other cities, man, to Whole Foods just to get good food, man. Now, Sprouts, Sprouts is decent. Sprouts used to be my spot until I went to Whole Foods and realized which is better. You know, just go for what you want, man. Just do it. Like, just do it. Like, just do it. But, uh, <laughs> thank y'all. Thank you so much. And, uh, I'm about to head out. Peace.